Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time is reaching. You know what this is. I said I was going to have a cookie in the cell. I was really going to do it. I swear for the Lord. They sent me an apron and a hat. I'm cooking something, right? I am. Let me get my let me get my angles all the way together. But let's get right into this, man. This was, do I show you now or do I show you later? I don't really know. This ain't cooking ain't really never been my thing, man. I cooked in jail, but it wasn't never really. Let me just show you, man. Come on. Let's just do it, man. This how we gonna do it. Let's do it. I'm gonna show you the first meal I really learned how to make when I was locked up, right? Quick little setup, man. Some wraps. We need water, noodles, some sausage, cheese, you know, a couple condiments here or there to make it makes sense, right? To the microwave. Gotta heat the water. You know you gotta heat the water. Gotta heat the water. Put that water on three minutes and make that make sense. And we right back to work. We right back. We right back to the meal. Quick little soup. I already broke it. I already broke it down like it was a narcotic, right? Usually slap them on the floor, but we ain't gonna, we not gonna do that. We gonna be more classy. I, I broke it up with my hand, right? Next up, why that, why that water heating up, man? We gonna cut this summer sausage up. Knife. Nah. <laughs> Come on, let, let, let's make it a little bit more interesting. Let me go in my pocket. Ooh, I got this as a gift, right? This is one of my housewarming gifts. I'm talking about this thing right here. Oh my goodness. If I had this when I was locked up, I'd have been a god. Moral of the story. Right. Moral of the story. I don't really need all of this, but hold up. I'm a little bit more high class. I got so many housewarming gifts. I am going to literally use them. Right. Let's go and get this summer sausage bust down right fast. Get it out of the pack. How'd it be? Get the peeling and yes, I wash my hands before all of this got stored. You know what I'm talking about? Got to peel the paper off. I don't know why they do this in jail. I guess it make it better. One of the it's one of the first meals I learned how to cook, right? And since I'm finna be watching, I'm finna get into this little series. I'm gonna keep the title to myself. I'm finna get into this little series, right? Go on with me up some, you know what I'm saying? Where I can sit in front of the TV and be entertained, or you not entertained. Do not say nothing to me about this little knife right here. Don't don't even don't even mention it, right? It's legal. That's all that matter to me, right? It is legal, and that's how that's how we rock, and that's for something else, right? Try to keep it going the way that it's going. And randomly, why ain't nobody paying attention? Have anybody ever read these? You ever read these? Right? This little one pack of noodles right here, it served two people. I, <laughs> I know that sound extremely strange, but it do. I swear for the Lord it do, it say it, right? It literally says it. Two servings per container. I was baffled when I first found that out. Like, what? Two servings? But you made two servings. Look, you know, little soup, you know. Little something sausage in there. Alright, little something sausage in there. It's gonna come with the, you know, additives and preservatives a little bit later. But, you know, we're gonna make it make sense right fast. This is cooking in the cell. This is episode one. Right, I'm gonna start making all kind of little prison food. My dude called from the joint earlier today. He told him to send me a canteen list, right? I'm gonna send him a couple of dollars. I'm gonna have him go to the store for me in the joint. Right, and send me the food so so y'all can see me so y'all can see me whip up that you know what I'm saying that stuff that you know.
let's get this going to the plate. Simple, you know, a little hot sauce. A little hot sauce go a long way. I done ran EJ to sleep. She's sleeping. I love you. I am amazed she is not in here trying to, you know, be a part of, you know what I'm saying, the festivities of cooking in the cell. That lady. Okay, the barbecue sauce. We got some pepper. That's good. Don't say nothing to me. Yeah, my knees out. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing to me. My knees out. Now, other than that, jail story. Interesting how I even learned how to cook my first meal in jail. Right? It came. I was. I was in a hole for being in jail, like not following the rules. Normal thing that come with being in jail, not following the rules, not paying attention to nobody or what they was talking about me because at the time I felt like I knew everything. Later on in life I found out that I didn't know nothing, but then I thought I knew everything. I was young, stupid, cocky, reckless, all of the all of the things that come with youth that I've learned as I got older, I wasted all of that energy. I could have been doing something completely different with my life, but I got out the hole my first time being on the prison yard because I went right to the hole after I got out of orientation. I went right to the hole. I was in the hole like 60 days. That was the first time other than being in like the city and county jails that I spent in solitary confinement, and I'm telling you, it was a life-changing event. Mm. 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 Get that, get that all the way together. We still waiting on this suit. It's a life-changing event, though. So I get out the hole, and they put me in the cell with a little dude from. He was like from the Boo Hill, one of them little small country towns down in the South. High energy, high for baby. You want something, don't you? Come on, I'm gonna give you just a little piece. All right, I'm gonna give you just a little piece. All right, wash it off for a hold on. Bye. Bye. I got you a little piece. Bye. So I move in the cell with him, and he showed me all about the canteen list and all of that. So I, I go to the store, boo. I buy, I buy everything that I think I might need. I didn't really need none of that stuff. I end up using it to gamble with, but that's another story all together, all by itself. But we in the cell, and he like, let me show you how to whip this up. I had been trying to whip up food in the county and city jail before I went to prison, but I wasn't really good at that, man. I could get the food, you cook it. And that was kind of how most of my prison bit went. Like, I didn't really do a lot of cooking. I really wasn't at the microwave like that. I would if I had to, but I did everything in my power to not really have to, if you understand what I'm saying. But I will. Right, I feed me and I'm kind of cool that feed me. I swear to oh Lord, I am. Let me get a plate. High energy. You cooking in the cell with me? That little something dog was good, wasn't it? I know it was. I know it was. You ain't got to tell me. I know it was. I don't know why I'm excited cooking jail food, right? But in my mind, we all in jail, right? I was in prison and prison just showed me like how small and powerful the jails could be, right? Side story. I still feel like I'm in jail, though I have freedom and liberties to kind of do whatever is within the law. I'm still locked on the planet. I ain't figured out how to get off the planet, so I'm still in jail. Huh. 
What you think? You ready? Damn. I'm so glad for these modern luxuries. I don't know what to do. Oh yeah, I got the little basket where I ain't got I ain't got to drain my suit. Usually you gotta pour the water off. Right? I ain't gotta do none of that now. I love this. This is amazing right here. This is this is one of those amazing things, right? This little thing served too. Where my suit pack at? So me and Lil Bro in the seal, I'm talking about we whipped a little meal up. He brought he brought his half. We whipped a little meal up. It's the most amazing thing yo. Matter of fact, let's go and get, let's go and get the cheese going. clean up later. Quick. Really wish I had some of that good that good penitentiary cheese spread. That stuff right there is amazing. You got almost paint with it. I swear for the Lord. Me, I do mine different. Everybody, you know, most people, you know, that I know, they cut, you know, all the meat up and put it in the shelves and all that. I don't really do that. I put a little bit in here. Right. I put a little bit in here. Banana peppers this time. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Take this little thing right here. Mm. Hold up. Hold little show, man. I need to go and make this make sense. I'm talking about the way it's supposed to. Cooking in the cell, don't you? Ain't nobody eating but me. It just happened, right? It just it just happens. It just happens. When you do it enough, it become routine, man. You could do it, you could kind of do it with your eyes closed. cheese bread for that cheese bread will cover that right there and I'm talking about literally seal that thing in there it's gonna literally seal that thing in there mm-hmm mm -hmm. it's that thing mm -hmm. it's that thing it's that thing you do not have to tell me I know somebody watching this like I just can't believe that he is making that yes I am Yes, I yes, yes, I, I really am. I'm making it and I'm gonna eat it. And I don't really care how you feel about it or none of that. We finna watch this little show. Me and Egypt. Mm hmm Don't judge me. Mm -hmm. Don't judge me. Even the back way. Oh, the back way. That's it, quick, fast, in a hurry. I'm gonna put this back in the microwave for a, for a good little 30 seconds and let them shells lock in and then I'm finna eat. I ain't gonna hold y'all up no longer. This is the first episode of Cooking in the Cell. I'm gonna do better. This is the first episode, give me a chance. Y'all have a good day and be safe. I'm talking about it in such a way. 
Y'all know how these videos usually end. You want some more, don't you? I know you do, don't you? Let me watch that little grease over there. Come on. Treat. Bye. And. And bye to y'all. Hey, now.